Good afternoon. It's Calvin, Sunshine Shoulders, coming to you from Zamboanga City, Philippines, uh, during the pandemic. It's about 2 p.m. No, it's, it's actually 1.15 p.m., September 2nd, 2020. And one of my subscribers what, asked me about my opinion when he's coming over here. He's, he's planning on coming after the pandemic for vacation. Should he book an Airbnb or should he book a hotel? I'm going to get right into it. I spent thousands of dollars on these hotels without even knowing anything about Airbnb. I didn't even know about Airbnb. I'm an older guy, man. I'm 57 years old. It never even crossed my mind, Airbnb, until 2016, 2017. So I spent thousands of dollars uh, on hotels. But once I found out about Airbnb, it's exclusively Airbnb. I won't even think about a hotel. The value, the comfort, the amenities, you can't beat it versus a hotel. Especially the number one thing I like is the kitchen. You get your own kitchen, you can cook your own food, which is so important. Because the extra money you're going to save, you, you can spend that you know, on your lady. Or going to the beach or to a resort. You don't want to spend it at Jollibee or McDonald's or one of those places that we like to eat when we come here. You know, put that money in your pocket. Use it for something better, you know, uh, later on. Now, this is for the short term. Of course, you know, if you plan on staying here for a while, just get you an apartment. I mean, the cost of living here is it's cheap. You know, if you look at all these cost of living videos, it's true. It's very affordable here. I mean, you wouldn't even believe it. I mean, I'm renting a two-bedroom house for 140 U.S. dollars. I mean, right now, this is my mother-in-law's house. This is in Zamboanga. I was stuck here during the pandemic. They, sh they closed the borders. I'm literally stuck. I'm trying to get a travel pass now to leave, but I've been here since March. And one thing about the Philippines, and you'll hear this if you listen to my videos, you're going to hear the roosters. You can't get away from the roosters. Okay, if that bothers you, don't even bother coming over here because the rooster sounds uh, that's part of the Philippines. That's you know, <laughs> that's like America and apple pie. You got the Philippines and the roosters, or the, they call it cocks over here, and dogs. You know, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna hear the dogs barking. You know, people love dogs over here too, just like they do. But the Airbnb is the best option. Now, there's something in between there, in the, between the two, the hotel and the Airbnb, and it's called the Pension House. Look that up if you don't want to do the Airbnb. It's the same as a hotel. It's just not as fancy. It's not as big. They don't have a Pension House normally is not going to have a franchise, okay? It may be... Uh, located in an office building, or it may look like an office building, but that's cheaper than a hotel. But it's just a hotel, really. That, that's all it is. Uh, my knock against the hotels here is that they're usually on the main road, which is where all the traffic and all the noise is. And when you're trying to get away from that, you go to the Airbnb, which a lot of times you're going to be in a subdivision. You know, somebody's personal house or personal condominium. Uh, in my case, the first Airbnb that I rented was, that I booked, was in Dumaguete City, a place called Heidi's Cabin. So if you're traveling to Dumaguete City or you're somewhere near there and you're looking for a place, and I'm endorsing her even though she would never, you know, she's not paying me or anything. I'm doing this for my viewers. There's a place called Heidi's Place, Heidi's Cabin. In Dumaguete City, it's a beautiful place. Only $22 a night. I mean, and, and thank me later when you get there. I mean, it's comfortable. The linen, the blankets, I mean, the air condition will freeze you out of there. Free cable, free uh, fast Wi-Fi. You know, you can cook your own food there. Or, you know, they, they've got um, a wonderful cook there if you, know, if you don't feel like cooking breakfast or something. And I think it's like uh, 140 pesos for breakfast, like $3 for breakfast. But I decided that 
I just exclusively do Airbnb from now on because let's face it, people have nice things. We might as well enjoy it. You know, with hotels, you know, you, you get what you pay for with the hotel. You can get the low cost hotel, medium or high expensive hotel, but it's gonna cost you and it's gonna cost you along with the food because you're gonna have to buy the food at the restaurant, in the hotel or outside. And you'll get tired of eating fast food, you know, that'll play out real quick. You'll get tired of the Jollibee and the McDonald's and all of that. The Inesau, which is the chicken place here. And they got some real nice pizza here. Um, one thing, I just this is kind of like a sidebar, but it was really a, a pleasant surprise for me. It was... The bakeries that they have in the Philippines, I, I never expected that. I mean, you can get fresh, hot bread every single day if that's something you like. I mean, it's something that really shocked me. I mean, I never even expected that. I mean, you walk down the street and you can smell it. The aroma, man, was just, oh, man, it's just so delicious. You know, you go in the morning when they first open, or I think like 3 o'clock they cook another batch of fresh bread, and you get the cheese bread or the Spanish bread, you know, coming out of the oven. I mean, it's just so delicious with either ice cold Coke or a cup of hot coffee, man, and, you know, you will really, really uh, be surprised. They have some great uh, bake shops here. But back to the Airbnb. You know, Heidi's cabin, it's a gated, uh, the owner lives next door in a big beautiful house and then she's built this uh, duplex downstairs and upstairs. This looks like a house, she rents the downstairs and the upstairs, but you won't know, you can't hear the, the upstairs has a side interest, they both have their own interest. But I like the privacy, I like the security, I like the comfort and I like the value. As simple as that. Now, uh, I'm trying to get a travel pass to go back to where I normally live, and I'll do some more videos on, on other topics like cost of living. I'll, sh I'll give you a cost of living video, even though I don't do a lot of cost of living, but someone asked me to do that. So I'll do that in different beaches and things, and, and just how they treat you over here, okay? Because, of course, you know, They'll treat you like a rock star if you just norm, if you just act normal. You don't have to do anything else. Keep a low profile here, because as I said in my other videos, there's a mean streak. Filipinos have a mean streak, and they'll cut you in half, and they won't even think set, you know, a second thought about it. But if you just come over here, keep your ego in check, respect the people, respect the culture, they're gonna treat you like a king. Okay, remember. When you get off that plane, the minute you get off that plane, you're going to notice the difference. I mean, that's why I haven't been back. Now, I'm going back for a little while in 2021 to visit my children and my grandchildren, but I'm not going to stay. You know, I love America. I grew up there. I fought for the country in the United States Navy. Uh, and I lived there all, the, you know, my entire life. You know, but the world is 197 million square miles. Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm from, is 334 square miles. It's like living my whole life on a dot. There's other things out here to do. This is an alternative lifestyle that fits me. It suits me to a T. Some people don't like it over here. They'll say, oh, it's too hot. You know, they don't like the food and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a whole lot of stuff. But for the people who, who like it here, I mean, it's like utopia. You can't beat it. The low cost of living, beautiful beaches. The people treat you so nice. I mean, the weather. I mean, the sun shines every day here. I mean, it's the rainy season. You can see the sun coming through this window. It was raining earlier, but I don't care. The sun's going to shine. I've been coming here since 2009, and by no means am I an expert on the Philippines. But every single day I've been here, the sun has shined. Not, not one time has it not. Okay? But thanks for watching. I hope I helped you on the Airbnb versus the uh, hotel. Basically, the value. The cost is going to be cheaper, uh, the comfort, the privacy, the security. Okay? Uh, look for some more of my videos. You know, if you like the information I'm giving you, subscribe to my channel. I don't ask you for money. 
okay? As a semi-retired insurance agent, you know, I earn my own money. I don't need to, if you need information from me, it's going to be free. I'm not going to charge you for it. Some people do that, and I don't knock them for it. That's their business, and I respect that. But no one charged me for the information, so I'm not going to charge you for the information. doesn't matter what it is. If it's meeting women you want to know about, cost of living, the food, uh, safety, just put it in the comments. I'll answer it for you. Thank you.